Hello Linux users, I am Abhishek from Itsfos and I am going to show you how to use Linux inside Windows like a normal Windows application. This is very useful in case when you are not sure whether you are ready to install Linux completely on your system or dual boot it with your Windows so that you can use Windows or Linux at the boot time, select one of them. But since those procedures are a little bit complicated, you may try your hands on one of the Linux distribution and see if you like it. Or if you cannot install Linux for any reasons, but you have to use Linux for the Linux terminal and you still want to use those Linux command line for your university studies or any other learning purposes. Without wasting any more time, let's see how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is download Oracle VirtualBox. This is an open source software available for Linux, Windows and Mac to run and other operating system as a virtual machine. So you just have to download it. Just download the Windows host because you are using Windows. It should be available for Windows 7 and Windows 10. I don't know if you're still using Windows 8, which you shouldn't be using because it's, I think it's deprecated. And at the same time, also download Ubuntu. Well, you can download any other Linux uh, desktop ISO, like uh, Linux Mint or any other, any other Linux distribution. I'm showing the example with Ubuntu, but you should be able to use the same method for other Linux distribution as well. For some reasons the website didn't work on the first go. In any case, you have two options to install either Ubuntu 17.10 or the long term support version. You can choose what, whatever you want. I mean, I'm going to use the latest version which is Ubuntu 17.10. So I'll be downloading the file which is in this case, yeah, it asks for some money, but it's only optional and it's for donation. You can just go straight, uh, or if you want to tip something, tip it to Canonical, or just go to download parts straight away. And it will start downloading a single file of around one and a half GB. It's called ISO. It's a compressed image of the test, uh, of the operating system. So meanwhile, we start installing Oracle VM VirtualBox. Now, you probably already know how to install Win Windows software. So just have to click on next, 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 nothing fancy. Uh, it will ask to install some device software, in this case USB, so that the virtual operating system will also have the option to access USB it's not a guarantee but well it's an option I mean it might enable you to do that and same for network adapters so you that so that you will have the internet connection inside the virtual machine so that your Linux install inside Windows will also be able to use network like like you, you do it on on Windows so just start once installed start virtual box give it a size i'm gonna allot 2 gb of ram which is not good when I mean, you can allot more if you want and then vdi dynamically allocated is fine 10 gb is sufficient but just to be sure 14 gb and then you're almost ready for the setup So, if it doesn't show you the startup disk by default, you can go and browse to the ISO which you have downloaded. In my case, it's here. Just select it. And then you go on to VirtualBox. It will take some time because the virtual machines are a bit slow. So, I have just fast forwarded some of it. 
so after like some seconds you should see this screen and install Ubuntu you can skip the updates installation and move to the parties and stuff don't worry just use erase disk and install Ubuntu no your your Windows system will be completely safe it's it's a virtual system so you're not going to harm your host system that is Windows and then the time zone and everything that's pretty much straightforward from here just give it a name choose a password which you can remember easily and the next everything next is like pretty much straightforward it will take like uh, four to five minutes to install Ubuntu which is a lot faster than Windows 10 updates which takes like 20-25 minutes sometimes depending upon if it's a big update or not so yeah installing Linux is uh, it's n it's quicker it's not complicated as some people think and it's pretty good actually I hope you will like using it and later on you will install it as your main operating system so once the inst installation is complete just restart it and it will say that remove the installation presenter or anything you can just turn off the system if required and the next boot you won't be asked to install it again I mean you will straight go to the installed operating system and use your password it takes a little bit of time because I just allotted it 2 GB of RAM which is borderline sufficient but not really recommended this is why you need a lighter desktop environment like Lubuntu or Zubuntu X Ubuntu whatever you want to call it so here you can see that the network is working fine internet is there I cannot test uh, USB but I hope it works fine as well so here you are using Linux inside your Windows operating system so it's an operating system with an operating system I hope you like it and I hope you find it useful so stay tuned for more Linux tutorial see you next time bye bye